We all grow up hearing stories about our neighborhoods, our families, our friends, and then at some point we realize that it's our turn to do the telling. In Wellston, a group of teenagers have spent the past year learning how to do that through an organization that turns young writers into storytellers. Brenda Madden tells us more. It's premiere night at the Centene Center for Arts and Education in Midtown. In a few minutes, the lights will dim and students like Raheem Brown will get to see their films on a big screen for the first time. But wait a minute. Let's go back to the beginning, to where it all began. Eskridge Senior High School in Wellston, Missouri. I grew up out here in Wellston. Yeah. Little of the city, plus I've been through hard times, so you can't show me no pity. Now the shoes I busted up and the snake gave us no pity. As a building, it's seen better days, but on this sunny spring day, it's still the center of everything in Wellston. Make it out the slums, man, I know I got it in. I know bad father figures got their sons so this morning, the school's ninth graders are shooting video and interviews for the Wellston Story Mapping Project. It's a pilot program run by Studio STL, a nonprofit arts organization that empowers young people to become writers. And really the project's about having helping the students find stories in their community. The, the stories that are here, you know, I don't think HBO will have enough film you know, to tell all the stories that, that have gone on in Wellston over the last 30, 40 years. That's true, but when the project started back in October 2009, the students were in their first months of high school, so getting them to focus was hard. When I was a 14-year-old in high school and someone said, tell me a story about your community, I would have struggled to, to do that as well. And the other thing that happened was it was basketball season. In Wellston, nothing wins against basketball. So the story mapping team made the necessary adjustments and continued to nudge the kids along, teaching them the basics of interviewing, planning, and scripting. But then, in mid-December, there was another twist. The State Board of Education declared the Wellston School District to be unaccredited. The state announced it was closing Eskridge and the entire Wellston district due to poor performance. The following fall, Wellston students would switch to Normandy, their longtime arch rival, or another school of their choice. It's sad because when I was in middle school and elementary school, I was uh, I couldn't wait to get up here. Now that I'm here, it's like I wanted to play basketball all my four years up here. The students were angry and confused, but one thing was clear. The story mapping project was no longer just another assignment. It was funny because that, that week that we met, that they were suddenly like passionately engaged. At first, they wanted to use the videos to reverse the decision and keep their school open. But soon enough, they realized it was a done deal. It's beyond the point where anything can be, you know, the decision has already been made. And so now it was just like, well, you can chronicle, you can document the last, you know, the last days of the school and what came before. And so they did. They set up interviews, shot video, wrote scripts, and traded their weekends for marathon editing sessions at the Studio STL Writers Lab, where volunteers from the Midwest Center for Media Literacy helped them turn hours of raw footage into art. By May, they were ready to tell the world about their Wellston, a community that has been through a lot, but remains close-knit and proud of its history. The students ended up producing 17 different pieces about Wellston, from rap songs and personal poems to profiles of popular hangouts, favorite teachers, alumni, local heroes. And if your food fight breaks out, I'm coming after Randy Jones history, and yes, basketball. It's just so much pride in, in, in that gym right there. So here's what it's going to go. So tell me what you thought about this project. Tell me true. About me. Their what teachers mean, say they always knew the students had it in them. There's stories within all of us, and when you're drawing those out of kids, a lot of times the kids know what the stories are. They just don't have the mechanism, the language, the vehicle to really go ahead and show that. Now they have all that and a website that connects each story to its specific neighborhood or street in Wellston via Google Map. The website is called Pentimento, which means a painting that fades to reveal another image underneath. It's a fitting description for the project and the students. We love working in Wellston. In 2007, we published a book with these kids as seventh graders. It's called How My Life Has Been Since I Got Older. And right there, first person. 
DeCarla Lachison contributed a poem to the book. It's my poem called Music. When I feel life is ever so painful, I put on my headphones, block out the wor world's madness, and let it drift me away. When you are so involved with them every week and sharing stories and connecting with them based on your experiences, it's very, very hard to walk away. We don't want to walk away, so we want them to keep coming back. Tonight, they did, returning to the same location where they attended their first Young Authors Party. And once again, in the audience, they saw friends, relatives, neighbors, and total strangers who came to see their transformation from students to storytellers. Oh yes, I didn't, at first I didn't think that this would classify as art as, at all. But doing this, oh, my perspective has changed, 100%. Right before the premiere, some of the students lingered outside on a rooftop patio. And granted, while they're still a little young to grasp the symbolism of the skyline before them, their mentors aren't. They want them to know that in life and art, when you control your own story, the sky is your only limit. At least some of the kids have realized, and I feel like some of them have, they understand that there are ways for them to be heard. I grew up out here in Wellston, yeah. little of the city, plus I've been through hard times, so you can't show me no pity. Never. As soon as I busted up, and it's taking.